What's up guys? Retro Django here with the part 2 of this Amiga 500 plus plus board. Part 2. Few upgrades I want to share with you guys. You just saw the intro with two new stuff put on this. Wait. We need to hear something else, right? No, this one. No, this one. All right, two seconds, I'm gonna get some champagne. It's not champagne, it's just soda, guys. I haven't been drunk since I've been a dad. I can't just let go and get drunk because we have some responsibilities, you know? So, yeah, it is what it is. All right. <laughs> the Amiga 500 Plus Plus from Rob. I love this board. I love it. I love it's purple. It's beautiful. I hope you watched part one. I hope you shared my excitement with this beautiful card. I love everything about it and it's just rock solid. What have I done? I have... Let's go into sysinfo. Uh, I have some stuff open but um, yeah it doesn't matter all right I have upgraded it with a little board on the 68,000 CPU as you can see it says 8 meg of RAM with Octagon Octagon 2008 when we check out the speed it will say that it's an ECS Agnes with 2 megabyte chip RAM you guys know me if the Amiga doesn't have 2 MB chip RAM, I don't use it. If it has got 2 MB chip RAM, then it's an excellent system. This system, it shows 13.70, but it's a... That's because I have open music and stuff like that in the background. You know Amiga, multitasking system. Oh, wait guys, I don't wanna... There we go. <laughs> it's the Spitfire. 500 from Jan Bilana. Great donation. He donated me this card, YouTube channel donation. I reviewed it. I have three or four videos with this. So you go ahead and you type Spitfire 500 Retro Django and the videos will pop up and you can see this beauty in Amiga 500, in Amiga 500 Plus, in Amiga 2000 also. <laughs> what this beauty does, it it gives 1,400 dry stones and as you can see it runs uh, a bit faster than a uh, oh, 20, 14 MHz Amiga 1200. It's a great upgrade, direct link to GitHub. You can build this upgrade for 40 euros and it's just amazing. One of the coolest parts about this beauty is it has got IDE connector and you can put this IDE to CF and you can put in your 16GB compact flash card and check out the reading speed. It goes up, uh, here it says 2.2 but if I just reset and just directly go into this program I can sometimes score 2.3, 2.4 megabytes per second guys it's unbelievable so this spitfire 500 has got super reading speed it's direct access on the cpu i love it guys so yeah other than that the 14 megahertz it's switchable on the fly what does that mean we have got the switch i just switch it down bam and then i take a speed test Bam! Now the 13 there megahertz, but look at this, what it will say right now up there. Oh, that's odd. It's still, there, there we go, 7 megahertz. Now it runs as an Amiga 500. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? On the fly! So let's just boost it up again. Say, there we go. And now we're up at 14 megahertz. Now. For WHD Load Gaming, having the 68,000 CPU that is highly, highly compatible, 
and running at 14 megahertz, it's just excellent, man. Stuff just works. And the best part is when I run at 14 megahertz, the reading speed of the compact flash card gets doubled up. I can really feel the difference. So it's just all win-win situation. Other than that, we have got some memory also. As you can see, eight megabyte of fast RAM here. So this board, great YouTube channel donation from Screamo. And this board, great YouTube donation from B Jan Bilana. And this newly built one megabyte chip RAM expansion I also got donated from Screamo <laughs> is just running rock solid. Brand new board. As you can see, it has got one megabyte chip RAM, 512, 512. But this board, it has got this carry adapter. I can take that out, put under the carry chip. Then I can install 512K chip here and 512K chip under it also. I can put it clock for the real time clock battery. I can also do it over here. So great system we have got over here, guys. Let's see how it runs. So on this part number two, I just want to show you guys that that I am just this one. Yeah. The audio is just out of this world. It's oh I'm I'm enjoying it man. Wait. <laughs> Let me get a drink again. Champagne bottles. It's so hot. It's summer 2022. It's so hot that I have to drink some. So, yeah, this card, great picture, rock solid, 14 megahertz, and it runs. It runs amazing. You can build one of these. It's on GitHub. The custom chips are fairly easy to find for the Mega 500 Plus. You can buy this little, um, what's it called, man? Uh, it's called, I don't remember, but you can order this little thingy here when you buy the car. And I will say the harder, two hardest part is getting the ECS Denise and the 8375. That's not that, that's that's probably the hardest chip to get. Other than that, it's pretty easy. Very few components you have to uh, like like uh, this one over here was the only part. Yeah, only part on this board. Um, to to um, to set the speed at seven megahertz. That's it, guys. Everything else is brand new. Isn't that just crazy? In twenty twenty two, yeah, I think oh, I love it. So other than that, yeah, I can feel the ECS is on. It's really hot. It's maybe thirty degrees in here. Um, maybe more. I can feel the ECS uh, chip is on, the Denise is on. Um, definitely need a heatsink on top of here. CIAs are ice cold. Gary is... It feels like Gary is not turned on. <laughs> Paula, Paula is on also, not that hot. And the Fed Agnes here, 8375, my favorite here. Yeah, it needs some cooling too. The CPU that's overclocked to 14 megahertz. Now this one, it's a 68,000. Most of my CPU says 68,000 P8, which means that they came out to run as eight megahertz. So when you put that 
on the Amiga 500 here and it runs at 7 megahertz, then it, you know, it runs perfectly fine. This one is the only one that I have got here. It says 68,000 P10. This one is made to run at 10 megahertz. So, if you check it, P8, put in here and run at 14 megahertz, or a P10 and, and run at 14 megahertz, of course, you will stress the P10 lesser, which will result in lesser heat. I like that. Now, the P8 with this one, I have used it for many, many months at 14 megahertz, and the P8 runs rock solid without no cooler. So it's not a problem, but it's just, it will stress the CP a bit less. So if you can get a P10 model, why not? <laughs> because again, when, you, when I flip this up, it runs at 14 megahertz. Go in and watch the review of this Spitfire 500. It's absolutely, I mean, for bang for your buck, you for 40 bucks, you can't get nothing better than this. This is, this is, I love it. So, to round that up, I'm using these lovely speakers and my trusty new PSU over here. It costs, it has got two line outs and it costs, it's from Poland. I don't remember the name of the company, great donation. It uh, costs mm, 30 euros plus shipping. The Amiga takes some time to boot up because I haven't connected nothing at the um, floppy drive controller, so it will take more, a, a bit more time than than usual. But as you can see from off and on, this is how much time it takes with this 14 megahertz system. So let's go into the menu here and choose a tower assault. Sure, why not? Guys, I am just in love with this system. Now, usually I'm all in for the Amiga 1200. I love AGA demos and stuff like that. But this is just going old school. But look at the, the speed, the compatibility. I'm like, oh, I have my Warp 1260. I love the 060 running at over 100 megahertz. But guys, with 14 megahertz, the Amiga can do magic. So if you have got this 14 megahertz system with the lovely two megabyte chip RAM, of course, one megabyte here and one megabyte over here, two megabyte chip RAM, and eight megabyte total. Now this card, you can disable it. If you want to put hard disk on the side, then you can go in and say, only four megabyte on this. You can just uh, put a jumper to the side and it runs as a four megabyte. You can also disable the auto boot here if you just want to have it as an old hard disk where you want to boot from floppy then you can just disable auto boot one jumper and that's it great system guys get one of these if you have an omega 500 it's all ready on github easy 40 euros i mean it's just it's, it's a must buy man i i, I love this so yeah guys this is part two. On part three, if everything goes as planned, I will have a nice case for this system. I'm not gonna destroy one of my Amiga 1200s in their original and perfect condition. I have so much respect for the original stuff. So this is brand new and it needs something nice, you know? So we will have something special, something limited, something... Yeah, it's gonna be so nice. <laughs> I can't wait. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you will subscribe because we are going to enjoy this board on part three. I just wanted to show you the few upgrades I have done here. And I have just enjoyed this, man. Listen so much mock music and playing some ECS, OCS games. And it's just so beautiful. I love it. Have a great day out there, guys. Cheers, and see you on the next video very, very soon.